Lima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Mining equipment and services provider Sandvik Mining and Rock Technology last month officially opened its new 15 million rand production unit in Boxburg. Ilan Solomons was there and filed this report. The opening of the new 1,500 meter squared facility coincided with the launch of the 5-ton Sandvik LH-115L low-profile load haul dumpers or LHDs which are new to the South African market and are targeted for use in narrow reef ore bodies which are commonly found in the South African chrome and platinum sectors. The facility employs 15 people who were trained specifically to assist in the assembly of the LH-115L LHDs. Sandvik Mining and Rocket Technology Southern Africa Sales Area Vice President Simon Andrews explains why the company set up the facility and what it comprises of. We established a, 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 an assembly facility. We have 10 bays and the idea is that we would launch the original uh, 115 and do the assembly, local assembly, to completion. As part of that process then we would outsource the fabrication of the steelwork so that the frames would be delivered to us and then would be assembled on site with all the electrics, hydraulics, so the completed product would then be available for sale. And that's the facility we established here. Sandvik Group CEO Bjorn Rosengren says the new facility and the launch of the new range of LHDs highlights the importance of the Southern African market to Sandvik and of the company's continued commitment to provide cost-effective, high-quality technologies and services to the region and South Africa in particular. I think it's a, it's a first step. It might not be a huge step for Sandvik, but I think it's an important step. From a uh, Sandvik perspective, uh, and uh, especially from our mining and rock technology and business area and uh, loaders and trucks, we try to uh, support our customers globally. And uh, most of the customers working in the platinum uh, area are located in this uh, region here, and uh, but also in some neighboring countries. Uh, so for us, it is imp of course uh, important for us to support them to be more productive, but also more sustainable, and also fulfill what's uh, included in the mining charter. If you, if you look at the mining business that we have within uh, Sandvik, which is an important part, uh, I would say this region, which uh, where South Africa is the main hub represent about 15% of that business, which is a quite significant uh, uh, size uh, of business for Sandvik. So, so, you know, Sandvik is very committed to uh, South African business and uh, to the neighboring countries here in, in Africa. Other news making headlines, NDT at height can start immediately after shutdown. Industrial rope access specialists, sky riders access specialists, will be able to reach high places as soon as ropes have been rigged, after which non-destructive testing can be done. As mentioned before, NDT is just another service we offer off the ropes. Um, there's a huge market for it, especially in your major heavy industries where uh, there's a short duration shutdown, so the program is very tight, um, the budget is very tight, but they're still going to be able to achieve a certain uh, scope of work. Uh, with rope access, we can access large areas, especially confined space areas or where there's a height involved using our rope access techniques and we can do the NDT or inspections off the ropes. So it's just one of the services we offer off the ropes and it just makes sense because we can do it. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.